<clears throat> and um, <clears throat> brings uh, when it happens an enormous damage to the post. So uh, very often, um, uh, however, up to ninety percent of incoming uh, energy tsunami is reflected by the, at the continental shelf. So and therefore what uh, we have at the cost is just a small percentage of uh, <clears throat> of what uh, <clears throat> was excited in the ocean water. So uh, and so and what we get there is strongly depends on the share of incident wave energy passing through the slope. So in nonlinear optics, there is a phenomena for <clears throat> known for um, uh, quite a while called self-induced transparency. Uh, <clears throat> it's in essence, it's a quantum interference effect and uh, uh, but uh, we lived all this, um, which permits propagation of high intensity uh, light through otherwise opaque, opaque medium. So very important um, here uh, discuss a phenomenologically similar process with a totally different physics. We have no quantum effects, whatever, for shoaling tsunami or more generally a shoaling wave. Small amplitude wave um, gets reflected and uh, large amplitude, finite amplitude wave uh, goes through. So the main idea and the outline of uh, and the outline. So we can see the generic problem of a long wave showing without strong link linkage to a specific geophysics uh, geophysical situation. Uh, reflection is known. Uh, to be substantial for wavelengths comparable to the, the, or larger than the width of the slope. Uh, um, this is in linear setting. And um, hence linear waves of um, uh, <clears throat> scale comparable to the width of the slope will be reflected. Due to nonlinearity in dispersion, weakly nonlinear wave enriches its spectrum with high harmonics and often evolves into a uh, dispersive shock or solibor pattern with um, <clears throat> each constituent uh, element of the pattern having much smaller length scale compared to that of the original wave. And uh, reflection is negligible for um, <clears throat> such scale. Hence, the slope. Um, becomes more transparent for nonlinear waves and large share of incident wave energy uh, reaches the show. So uh, this is, uh, oh yeah, okay. So this is, um, um, <clears throat> example is uh, uh, closed field, it's meta tsunami, there's much smaller scales. And this is a um, specific type of meta tsunami observed of uh, Louisiana coast. And um, and you see a, a typical uh, structure of uh, uh, <clears throat> dispersive shock, which is the theme of the present conference. Uh, this solitary, solitary wave uh, is from another story, but uh, <clears throat> it is there. So, uh, okay, the model. So we consider the simplest possible model of uh, generic uh, slope, uh, bathymetry, uh, piecewise linear. And this was, uh, was known for uh, a few decades and was uh, re recently thor thoroughly studied by Yermakov and Stepanians in the linear setting. So uh, nothing to, especially to comment about this, it's quite uh, clear. So the basic equations are <clears throat> Boussinesque equations, but we use a uh, um, particular solver, which is called uh, <clears throat> fan wave. And, um, and in this solver, uh, there is um, 
uh, volume conservation equation of the um, horizontal velocity is uh, presented in, in this form. And, uh, just, yeah. and, uh, um, and uh, the system is closed by this average um, uh, horizontal momentum equation. So it uh, it contains um, um, uh, um, uh, <clears throat> so it chooses um, um, for uh, horizontal velocities uh, there is uh, <clears throat> it chooses velocity at particular um, depths z a and these parameters are chosen to optimize the dispersion relation of the linearized model relative to the full linear dispersion and. Uh, choice alpha uh, equals minus two over five gives uh, per the approximate of uh, dispersion relation. Okay, and um, so just one second. Yeah. So I uh, just uh, overview briefly overview showing of monochromatic linear wave. So um, this, uh, if the length of the <clears throat> slope uh, <coughs> horizontal length of the slope is l so then uh, wind could introduce the velocity scale uh, <coughs> linked to the um, height of the slope and um, and uh, yeah this is delta h there is corresponding time scale and um, we introduce some scaled variables and uh, <clears throat> and the linear aesthetic for monochromatic waves uh, the solution of okay for uh, transmitted and reflected wave uh, is uh, <clears throat> known to be expressed in terms of the Bessel functions and um, <clears throat> and for in the I do not give this formula but uh, in the mm, uh, uh, limit of uh, long waves, the expressions for reflection and coefficient uh, and transmission coefficients R and T get, get very simple form and, and are shown here. Uh, so what happens if we have not uh, a monochromatic wave, but uh, say Gaussian pulse, so then we integrate over now, wave numbers, and um, um, this is uh, okay. Our packet, and so and for um, the mass carried by Ga Gaussian pul pulse, we get this expression. It's proportional to the width of the the mass is proportional to the width of the pulse, and and uh, um, the reflected mass. So we, for the reflected mass, we get this expression. So in the long wave limit, the reflection coefficient depends only on the ratio of this. The four, either four. Mm, yeah. Okay. The simulation uh, were mm, can, uh, carried out using this um, a fun wave TBD version of fully nonlinear Bosinesque wave model, uh, which was. Uh, Developed by a group by of Kirby, and TVD means uh, total variation diminishing, and this model has a long history of thorough testing in different contexts. And here there are some references, and uh, it is kind of um, uh, established. Yeah. So uh, what? Um, so this is the. Mm, uh, set up of the simulation. So this is okay. Uh, our um, slope is our bathymetry. Uh, um, <clears throat> we start our simulation at 120 kilometers from uh, the <clears throat> toe of the slope. Uh, um, this is the depth in uh, so depths in meters. And we <clears throat> okay. So what um, um, here we show the following. So here 
this is the initial pulse, which approaches the um, bathymetry uh, feature. And here are um, shown uh, positions where uh, the, uh, um, the number above indicates the initial wave height and position indicates where this wave would uh, start to break in the long in the long wave approximation okay so the and the total uh, yeah okay so what what happens there just um, mm, mm. so here i show some snap snapshots of uh, um mm, in three different regions so and uh, the uh, the figures are normalized so the uh, initial wave height is different everywhere and it is shown here uh, um, in meters yeah so 0 0.5 1 um, 1.5 and so on so here uh, I plot the reflected uh, the profile of reflected wave here I plot what going on typically on the slope and the slope itself is uh, just marked by gray band and this is what uh, uh, <clears throat> wave looks after the slope yeah, um, and as you could see um, in the, uh, <clears throat> the, for the smallest amplitudes 0 0.5 uh, <clears throat> the pulse remains largely symmetric but it's well, still develops mm, some asymmetry and for mm, mm, <clears throat> large amplitude so it's uh, it develops mm, mm, the soluble or, or or dispersive shock structure but already after uh, <clears throat> after passing the slope mm. okay uh, Okay, and so here I stress that this is transmitted wave, yeah. So, and this is more of the same. It's uh, uh, for large, large amplitudes, you see the pulse becomes more and more asymmetric and here it develops a strong um, <clears throat> on the labor, uh, dispersive shock structure uh, already on the slope. And uh, this is after, after the slope, yeah. And for, for even high, higher um, uh, higher amplitude. So now what we were after um, um, <clears throat> it was the reflection. And so this plot shows how the reflection depends on uh, initial nonlinearity and we uh, see that it uh, <clears throat> decreases with increase of uh, amplitude that's what we <coughs> declared we uh, expected to get now some interpretation of the simulation so these are again normalized uh, um, prof uh, snapshots of of the waves and here the gray area it's what happens uh, on the slope and you see so for larger amplitudes the wave wave becomes pretty steep okay now uh, let's have a, a, another look from a different perspective so this plot below uh, shows mm, 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 reflection coefficient as a function of uh, wave number and here is uh, inverse wavelength in uh, um, and so it's uh, for this configuration say for wavelengths of five kilometers so we have at, at about this scale we have sharp drop of reflection coefficient and then it oscillate at pretty low level <clears throat> it's all can be described in Bessel functions but uh, I don't see point in this so what we he uh, see here is uh, uh, all um, mm, 
uh, our uh, okay wave field uh, amplitude so in in spectral uh, space and if and they are marked uh, they are color marked if you look at this one blue which corresponds to uh, smallest amplitude 0 0.5 meter and we could see that there is very little which goes beyond this dashed line this this uh, this boundary so the smallest amplitude is mostly uh, reflected and if you look at the okay higher amplitudes uh, um, there is considerable portion of them uh, in uh, uh, in the higher uh, wave numbers which um, um, have uh, very little reflection so uh, the nature of this peak is not uh, um, fully entirely clear so I uh, <clears throat> think that this uh, it is related to um, <clears throat> this um, okay solibor structure so this scale soliton scale but I cannot prove this at this at the moment so this is this is a hypothesis at the moment and uh, <clears throat> and largely this is it so so this is um, um, uh, so we showed that in principle there is a notable so decrease of tsunami reflection coefficient of with which with increase of uh, wave height so <clears throat> here i should uh, uh, and we can claim that self-induced transparency can occur for shoaling waves in a reasonable range of parameters. But uh, here I should also mention the note of caution because uh, so the range of parameters is limited from several directions. So if we increase the amplitude of initial wave higher, it uh, will be un unrealistic, might be unrealistic, but also the waves start to break. And uh, in contrast to the previous speaker, this is something I, uh, I wanted to avoid because the picture gets um, uh, complicated. So we tried as much as we can to stay in non-breaking regime. So the physics of what we, of what we observed is um, pretty much clear. The shift of the spectrum towards higher harmonics sharply reduces reflection and whether this is the only mechanism is an open question we are working uh, upon to resolve to this end we came up with a simple and an analytically tractable model but uh, <clears throat> i hope to present the results at uh, another occasion o occasion and open questions so okay it would be highly desirable to um have a thorough sweeping of the parameter space, uh, but it's computationally expensive. Uh, but then uh, one of the um, <clears throat> undeclared aims of the present study was um, to derive a new asymptotic model uh, for this phenomenon based upon just non-local evolution equation. So uh, <clears throat> to um, take into account reflection and uh, radiation by, by a pulse and still have one way propagation. And uh, so far, uh, uh, we've been unsuccessful, unsuccessful, but in, in this problem remains an open one. Um, and, uh, and this is about it, thank you. Thanks, Victor. Yeah. Questions? Yeah. Thanks, Victor. Could you explain how you define and calculate uh, the reflection coefficient for in the case of your dispersive short wave? Because in the case of a regular monochromatic wave, it's quite easy to define a reflection coefficient. But in this case, where we are, where you have a very transient and viable wave profile, how, how do you compute and estimate the reflection um, coefficient? So, so um, <clears throat> 
the um, as, as I uh, noted, so uh, we um, uh, consider the, each harmonic and then we take the integral. Yeah. So so this is integral coefficients and uh, and also for we, we are looking for uh, reflection not in terms of energy but in terms of mass and in terms of mass so you have integral which uh, you could evaluate easily yeah so what i forgot to mention is that this okay i was speaking about um, in the uh, entirely into con context of tsunami and meta tsunami but such phenomena occur everywhere so for internal wave uh, uh, on the shelf and so on so that's uh, they are described by the same equation To thank you for a talk. So, uh, first question: non-locality in your last comment, uh, reduced so, model. Is it uh, kind of uh, accounting for dispersion, like no, no, no. So, uh, dispersion is there. Yeah. So, what what I what I wanted to do is to avoid uh, solving uh, two-way equation, Boussinesque equation. So, instead of a business equation uh, I wanted to have a one way equation and uh, with uh, with dissipation due to radiation of reflected wave mm -hmm. but uh, the regimes where it, it is possible to do the reflection is too small and it is not interesting and when it's it, it is interesting it's uh, not oh, I cannot do any, anything so it's uh, Okay, thank you. And the second question is, um, did you try any other uh, profiles of the topography? So how no, sensitive no, is that no, to, uh, to the profile? Um, uh, we, have, we have not, but uh, it, 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 it doesn't matter. So, so, so I think any profile you, you take, you could uh, take a smooth profile, you could, it, 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 it would be the same. It's, it's very robust thing here. Yeah, so. mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, can I ask question now? Okay, Victor, very interesting talk. Uh, so, so I have a couple elementary questions. First of all, you're talking about self-induced transparency, but I guess no chance for integrability in this system. No, 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 absolutely. Yeah, and then uh, just second question. Uh, so what a really a reduction in quantitative reduction in reflection we expect. I understand you look in kind of simplified uh, version to real life, but what kind of reductions, like twice, uh, 100 it, times? It, it's, um, it's, a difficult, it's a difficult question, Pavel. So uh, um, if, um, uh, so I, I need to take, um, Parameter okay to to have um, <coughs> substantial reduction. I need to to have um, um, considerable reflection in the first place. So and this uh, <coughs> so if I I'm speaking about tsunami wave. Uh, so um, the example I began with so where ninety percent of, uh, mm, is is reflected at continental shelf. So that would be uh, if I reduce it by say uh, 10, 20 percent, it would be great. But mm -hmm. so these regimes are not realistic because uh, in the open ocean, as a rule, tsunami is linear. So so uh, <clears throat> um, and so the reflection coefficient itself uh, so is uh, primarily a function of just. Uh, mm, Two depths. Uh, uh, okay, so um, uh, in the example I took, uh, uh, so there was a, um, <clears throat> reduction several percent. Uh, I could push it further, but I, I already mentioned I have another constraint that wave uh, would start breaking, and this is something that I want to avoid because it's. Uh, Complicates the, sto the story. It's I'm going into somebody else's turf, and uh, uh, yeah. So, um, 
but, but okay, understand open ocean, but closer to shore, is that possible to have regime when this reduction is significant? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so several, several, uh, for me, several percent is significant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. Very interesting talk. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Good to you. Thank you. How high do you put it here? Somewhere. Thank mm -hmm. you. 